when we become believers, we are supposed to understand that there should be another controlling mechanism in our lives. There should be something else that takes the driver's seat, and that is our spirit, which is where our communion exists. Mm -hmm. It's where our intuition exists. It's where our consciousness exists, especially if it is the Holy Spirit that's leading and driving your life. Most of us live according to what we feel, and everything is based upon how it makes us feel. Even our relationship with God doesn't go any deeper than a feeling. That's why we can't disciple properly. If the only thing we tell people is when you come to church, you're going to get goosebumps or you're going to feel chills or you're going to want to cry or you're going to want to shout. I came to tell somebody that even absent of all of those emotions, I came to tell you that the goodness of God can never be based upon how I feel in my soul. Yeah, my soul might respond to the reality of truth that my spirit produces. See, my spirit says God is good, not warm weather in the summer, cool weather in the winter, not whether or not I'm on the island in Barbados, not whether or not I'm seeing the blue waters of Jamaica. My spirit says God is good, not the temperature of the weather outside, not how many friends I have or do not have, not how many people like me or don't like me. I live my life based on a truth that even if my emotions don't agree with, the truth that's in me pulls my emotions up and I'll say like David said, where can I go from your presence where can I flee from your presence if I make my bed in heaven thou art there if I make my bed in hell thou art there the goodness of God has got to get out of my feelings and start becoming a part of my spiritual disposition